Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little romper for baby girls between six and nine months old. It's very easy to make. Now you can also make the matching headband. I already have the tutorial in my channel. Just click the little lamb next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find the tutorial there. Now this little romper, like I said, is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger down here in the information box i'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby up to 18 months so be sure to check that out also if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll go ahead and leave the link in the comments and in the information box below also at the end of the tutorial i leave you the finished measurements and remember all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish okay so let's get started and thank you for watching Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'll be using this cotton yarn. It's by Premier, this is the brand, Premier Cotton Sprout. This is a light number three cotton yarn in this color peach. I'm going to go ahead and use cotton since uh, this little outfit here is going to be perfect for the summer. Now, you can also use any DK weight yarn. Here, to begin, I have 73 chains. This chain here is measuring about 14 inches, which is about 35.5 centimeters. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue with the next step. Here, to begin on the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, I'm going to make a double crochet. The three chains here at the beginning in this row count as the first double crochet. So I have two. I'm going to make a total of nine. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's the front panel. So now I'm going to do the sleeve. So chain two and into the next chain, make a double crochet. Now for the sleeves, I'm going to make 17 double crochets. So that's one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. Let me count them again just to make sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Perfect. This is the sleeve. So now chain two. And now we're going to make the back side. So here for the back, I'm going to do 19. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now chain two and into the next chain, make a double crochet. This is going to be the other sleeve. So again, we're going to make 17 double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Chain two, and here we should finish with nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. So for this front panel again, make nine double crochets. Continue and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished this first row. I finished these last nine double crochets. So we have nine, 17, 19, 17 and nine. That's a total of 71 double crochets for the first row. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. This chain here never counts as a stitch. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet right here, make a double crochet. Into the second double crochet, make a double crochet. Now this is where the pattern is going to start. Chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next one. In this case, it's the fourth. Make a double crochet. Chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet. Chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet. Chain one. Skip this last double crochet for the front panel and inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Chain one. Now skip the first double crochet and into the second, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next, a double crochet. This is all I'm going to do until I come to the next chain two space. And the rest you're going to work on your own. It's easy, all you do is just skip one and then chain one. Like this. Skip one, double crochet, chain one. Skip one, double crochet, chain one. Here at the end, skip the last double crochet for the sleeve and inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of these stitches here. You're going to, let me start you here. So chain one now, skip the first double crochet for the front and into the next a double crochet. 
chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one, skip one, and into the next, double crochet, chain one. And that's all you're going to do from here on. This other chain two space is going to look exactly like this here. You're always going to have one last double crochet and inside you're going to work this fan and then you're always going to begin by skipping the first double crochet and into the second do your double crochet don't forget to chain one because in the next row we're going to come and do just double crochets into each one of these chain one spaces and on top of the double crochets i'm here at the end of this second row i still have three double crochets one two three the last one is the three chains here to finish don't forget to chain one skip this next double crochet and into the last two make a double crochet into each one here at the end we're going to finish with two double crochets and we're always going to start with two double crochets and that's what it looks like now if you count each one of the double crochets including these here inside the chain two space you should have a total of 51 double crochets separated by one chain now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn now from here on these are the two rows that we're going to repeat the second and the third so for the third here beginning on top of this last double crochet that i did make a double crochet double crochet into the next double crochet here right on top and into each one of the chain one spaces you're going to make a double crochet and on top of each one of the double crochets so in this row this is all we're doing we're just making one double crochet into each one of the chain one spaces and one double crochet into the uh, on top of the double crochets like this and these are the two rows that we're going to repeat from here on here we have the next corner we have the two double crochets same thing make a double crochet into each one and then inside the chain two space make again your fan for every corner we're going to do the same thing regardless of which row you're working so two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then again start this other side making a double crochet on each one of the double crochets and into each one of the chain one spaces and that's all we're going to do for this third row continue like this and i will meet you at the end of this third row i'm here at the end of this third row i have 103 double crochets now for the fourth row we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the second row so here chain one turn and remember that when we do this row here we always begin by making two double crochets at the beginning like this so on top of this last double crochet make a double crochet on top of the next a double crochet here are the two double crochets now chain one skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip the next and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip the last double crochet for this front panel and inside the chain two space make two double crochets two chains two double crochets And then to begin the next side skip the first double crochet but first don't forget to chain one so skip the first double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and so on each one of your corners is going to look exactly like this one here okay so continue for this fourth row and i'll meet you again here at the end to show you once again how to finish and how to start your next row i'm here at the end of the fourth row here at the end i have three double crochets left one two three chain one 
skip one and into the last two make one double crochet here at the end remember that for this row we always end with two double crochets and we always begin with two double crochets at the end of this fourth row now you should have 67 double crochets separated by one chain except here so now from here on you're going to repeat these two rows so for the fifth row this is where we need to do double crochets so chain one and turn beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next double crochet into the chain one space and on top of the double crochet this row is easy all you do is just double crochets so i'm going to continue until i come to the corner here just to show you i think by now you get how this stitch is worked just repeat the two rows from here on Okay, here's a chain two, so just make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then continue for the next side, doing the exact same thing. Okay, this is all we're going to do. We're going to repeat these two rows. Now, at the end of this fifth row, you should have 135 double crochets. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the rest of the yoke, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue like this. Just repeat these two rows and I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished row five, six, and seven. At the end of the fifth row, you should have had 135 double crochets. At the end of the sixth row, there should have been 83 double crochets separated by one chain. And then at the end of this seventh row, I have 167 double crochets. And the yoke is done. Now, this part here, right across here, it's measuring about four inches, which is about 10 centimeters. And the waist, just the top, it's measuring about 7.5 inches, which is about 19 centimeters. So now what I'm going to do here is we are going to join to the first double crochet of this row right here so that we can divide the sleeves in the next row. So make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Now for the first row, we're going to start counting rows here since we're going to divide the sleeve. We're going to chain two and into this same stitch here where I did the slip stitch, make a double crochet. Now I'm going to continue with the same pattern. So chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. And then I'm going to continue like this until I come to the first corner. So I have one, two, three, four double crochets, skip one and into the next, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have 11 double crochets separated by one chain. The two chains here at the beginning do not count as a stitch. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so now chain one, and we have the first corner here. We're going to make three double crochets inside this chain two space. Now to divide the sleeve, chain three, skip these double crochets, and into the second corner right here, you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. And here's the first sleeve. Now, if you want to add more chains under the sleeve, you can for the size that we're making this for. I think it's perfect with just three chains. Now we're going to continue along and work these double crochets for the other side. So chain one and beginning on top of the first double crochet right here, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one, 
skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one and so on here you're just going to continue with the same pattern until you come to the third corner where we're going to divide the second sleeve so continue and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making these double crochets for this front side if I count these three double crochets I have three four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty five double crochets now to divide the other sleeve chain one and inside this third corner make three double crochets chain three skip these double crochets and into the fourth corner here make three double crochets one two three now we're going to finish this row we just need to work these double crochets here so chain one and beginning on top of the first double crochet for this side make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one and so on continue finish this first row and i'll meet you at the end okay i'm here at the end of this first row now here to finish we're just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished the first row this is where we divided the sleeves now if i count each one of these double crochets i have a total of 56 double crochets i have 28 for the back side and 28 for the front side now for the second row we're going to do the following we're going to chain two and into this same stitch where i did the slip stitch which is the first double crochet make a double crochet now into this chain one space make a double crochet on top of the double crochet make a double crochet and so on here we're just going to continue like this until i come to the first sleeve here right here where we have the three chains so continue and i will meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these double crochets i have 25 double crochets not including the two chains now we have the three chains here under the sleeve into the first chain right here make a double crochet into the second chain make two double crochets and into the third chain this one here make one double crochet and this is all we're going to do here under the sleeve into the first chain we did one double crochet into the second we did two and into the third chain one double crochet you're going to do the exact same thing under this second sleeve now we're going to continue along and work these double crochets for the front side in the exact same way so beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet into the next a double crochet double crochet into the chain one space here make a double crochet double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do here when you come to the second sleeve here you're going to do the same thing one double crochet into the first chain two double crochets into the second and one double crochet into the third and then continue along and finish this second row i'll meet you at the end of this row okay i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 109 double crochets now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the second row with 109 double crochets now for the third row we're going to start our pattern here so chain four and into the same stitch here make a double crochet and here's the first v stitch for this third row now to make the next v stitches you're going to skip one two three and into the fourth double crochet you're going to do the same thing you're going to make a double crochet two chains double crochet each one of the v stitches is going to consist of a double crochet two chains double crochet again skip one two three and into the fourth make another v stitch skip one two three and into the fourth another v stitch continue like this to the end of this third row 
Okay, I'm almost done with this third row up to here. I have 26 V stitches. Now I need to make two more because I want to make sure that in this row I have even number of V stitches so that when we divide for the legs, it's much easier. So what I'm going to do here uh, between the first V stitch and the last, I'm going to add two more V stitches. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets here left. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, I'm going to make my next V stitch. And then again, skip one, two, and into the third, make my last V stitch. And now I have 28 V stitches for this third row. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have these chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the third row with 28 V stitches. Now for the fourth row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to a slightly bigger hook. I'm going to stop using this three millimeter hook and I'm going to use this 3.5 millimeter hook. Now, if you're making this smaller or bigger and you're using a different hook size, just go up half a hook size. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and beginning here we have the chains which counts as one double crochet. So work a front post double crochet. Inside this chain space here of this V-stitch you're going to do two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then a front post double crochet. Again, let me show you into the next V-stitch. Work a front post double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets into this chain two space. And then a front post double crochet. One more time, front post double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets inside the chain two space, and then a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this fourth row. So continue and we'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did these fans. Now to finish this row, we're always going to go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this fourth row with a total of 28 fans. Now for row five, what we're going to do is we need to do three slip stitches. One, two, three. So that I'm here inside this chain two space. So beginning into this next double crochet, make a slip stitch into the next one, slip stitch, and then inside the chain two space, another slip stitch. Now here we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now inside this chain space, make a double crochet. Here's the first V stitch. Now inside each one of the fans in the chain two space, you're going to do the V stitches. Each one of the V stitches, again, is going to consist of a double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. And that's all we're going to do for this fifth row. Now continue like this and I will meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is where we did V stitches to finish this row. We're just going to go here to the side where we have these five chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. I have 28 V stitches from here on. We're always going to have 28 V stitches and 28 fans when we do the row of fans. So now for the sixth row, I'm going to repeat this row of fans. From here on, these are the two rows that we're always going to repeat. So to do this, you're going to chain one and right here to the side where we have these five chains, these chains here counts as one double crochet. So we're going to work a front post double crochet Inside the chain space here, we're going to do our fan of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then finish this fan by making a front post double crochet again. Now we have the next V stitch, so work a front post double crochet. 
inside the chain two space, make your fan. And finish with a front post double crochet again. This is all we're going to do. So continue, finish this sixth row, and I'll meet you once again here at the end of this row to show you how to finish this row of fans and how to begin your row of V stitches. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is where we did these fans. Now to finish this row, you're always going to go here to the side where we have the chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how you're going to finish this row from here on. Now, like I said previously, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of fans and the row of V-stitches. So in the next row, row seven, I need to make the row of V-stitches. So to do this row, all you have to do is make three slip stitches. So beginning into this first double crochet, make a slip stitch into the next, a slip stitch, and inside this chain two space, a slip stitch. Now chain five, and into this same space, make a double crochet. Here's the first V stitch to this seventh row. Now inside each one of the fans, you're going to do your V stitches. And remember, each V stitch consists of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. And that's all we're going to do for this seventh row. Now, when you finish this row, you're just going to continue all around like this. You're going to go here to the side, make a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the row of fans in the exact same way I showed you here. A front post double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets inside this chain two space, and then finish with a front post double crochet and then repeat the same thing for each one of the V stitches. Now I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do and all we're going to do are repeat these two rows. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, finish making this part here. I have a total of 16 rows, including these two rows that we have here, the row where we divided the sleeves and then this next row. For the pattern rows, I have 14 rows. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now I finished the 14th row. So what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the legs. Now, if you want to do this as a little dress, you can also do it in the same way. Uh, I would just add a couple more rows and you're going to have a beautiful little dress as well. I think I'm going to do a tutorial with the version of the little dress, so stay tuned for that. But here we're going to work this little romper. So here, what we're going to do is I finished here, I joined to the beginning, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. Now we have a total of 28 fans. If you divide 28 by two, that's 14. So what I did was I counted 14 fans, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and then I put a stitch marker. So for the front here, I have four fans, one, two, three, four, and then for the back side, I have four fans, one, two, three, four. And for each of the legs, you should have 10 fans. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this like this. This next row, we're going to work from the inside out, so from the wrong side out. So we're going to go here to the back, see this is the back here, and we have our four fans. Fan number one, two, three, and four. To the side of fan number one, right here, in between these two fans, right here, insert your hook and grab a loop. Make sure you do this row from the inside out. We're going to do this row of E stitches like this because if I do it on the right side, my fans are going to be on the wrong side and I want to keep my fans on the right side as well. So here, chain three, go on top of this first fan inside this chain two space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Here's the V stitch and then I'm going to do the same thing for each fan. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Here we're going to chain one for these V stitches. And then jump to the next and do the same thing. Okay, 
I have four V stitches, one, two, three, four, plus these chains here at the beginning. Now to finish, we're going to go right between these two fans in the center right here. We're going to make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the first row. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. We're going to work the row of fans here. So beginning into this first double crochet of this first V stitch, make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make your fan of two double crochets one chain two double crochets and then finish with a front post double crochet now we have the next v stitch same thing front post double crochet inside the chain one space make two double crochets one chain two double crochets and then front post double crochet I'm going to do the same for the next two And here at the end, we're going to finish by making a double crochet into the third chain here at the end. Perfect. Here's the second row here for this part. We have the V stitch row, a fan row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Inside each one of these fans, we're going to make three double crochets. Finish this row by making a double crochet on top of the third chain here at the end. Perfect. Here's the third row. Now for the fourth row, chain one, turn. Here we're going to work single crochets. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet. And on top of each one of the double crochets here. We should finish with 14 single crochets because we had four of these fans here. Each one had three, that's 12, plus the three chains and the last double crochet, that's 14. Here's the last double crochet and one last single crochet into the last chain there. Perfect. Now we're going to repeat this row. So chain one, turn. and make one single crochet for each one of these 14 single crochets. When you finish, chain one turn and then repeat the same thing. Now this is all we're going to do, so continue and I'll meet you back once we have a total of six rows. Okay, I finished making these six rows here of single crochets. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did here on this side, we're going to do it here on this side. This here is the right side. Here's the little yoke and now we're going to do the exact same thing but we're going to turn this like this now this first row we're going to work the row from the inside out so beginning here we have the four fans so next to the first fan right in between these two fans right here insert your hook grab a loop bring it through the front and chain three one two three now inside each one of these fans you're going to do a v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet here i'm going to start you off just show you this first row and then you're going to do the rest on your own it's done exactly in the same way we did the other side Here's the fourth V stitch. Now in between these two fans, make a double crochet. And here's the first row. Now for the second row, 
chain three and turn. And here we're going to work a front post double crochet inside of each stitch. Make your fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and finish with a front post double crochet. You're going to do the exact same thing for each one of the v-stitches and then finish this row by making a double crochet here at the end on top of the third chain then chain three and turn and you're going to do this row where we do three double crochets inside the fans and then finish this part here so continue finish this side and i'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these six rows of single crochets for the front side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this leg here to my left. This is the back side, so this is the front. This row we're going to work from the inside out. So I'm not going to cut my yarn here because I'm just going to continue along uh, making this next row. So here, we're going to chain one and into this last single crochet that I did make a single crochet. Here I'm going to work one single crochet for each of these single crochet rows, and I'm going to have six single crochets. Perfect, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have a double crochet, a chain three space, and a double crochet. Into the double crochet, make two single crochets, into the next row where we have the chains, two single crochets, and then two single crochets here at the end. Here we should have 12 single crochets. We have six and then six here, that's 12. Now we have the 10 fans around the leg. For this row, what we're going to do is into the first fan, make three double crochets inside the chain two space, into the next one, make four double crochets. Two, three, four. Into the next one, three, and into the next four. This is how we're going to continue, just alternating between three and four. Three and four. So into the next one, four, and so on. Continue, finish these four double crochets into this next one you're going to do three four three four three and then finish with four here at the end I'll meet you at the end right here to show you how we're going to work this part and then continue on with the second row okay I finished making these double crochets and I have a total of 35 double crochets we have 7 14 21 28 35 double crochets here now we're going to make 12 single crochets along this side here just like we did for the other side so beginning here where we have these three chains make two single crochets two single crochets for the next row that's four single crochets five and six and then we have six rows here so one single crochet for each row that's seven eight nine, 10, 11, and 12. 12 single crochets here. 12, 35 double crochets, and then 12 single crochets for this other side. Now for the second row, chain one, turn. Here we're going to work these 12 single crochets. So beginning into the first one, make your first single crochet into the next and so on. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve single crochets. Now we have the first double crochet here. So into the first double crochet here, work a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and then again back post 
double crochet and so on we're just going to continue like this alternating between a front post and a back post double crochet until you come to the last double crochet here I will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to finish these last 12 single crochets and then I'll show you the third row okay I finished making these front post and back post double crochets for this part here and then I finished these last 12 single crochets so now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn now in this row what I'm going to do is into each one of these 12 single crochets we're going to make half double crochet so beginning on top of the first single crochet uh, yarn over insert your hook there and make your first half double crochet then half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next and so on until we have 12 half double crochets here for this part okay this is the last half double crochet i have 12 half double crochets here and then i have the first double crochet here we have a back post double crochet so here i'm going to change to front post and back post half double crochets so here make a back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on that's all i'm going to do until i finish this third row for this part here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets remember we always have 35 stitches for this part here and then we're going to work 12 half double crochets so continue finish this third row and i'll meet you at the end okay i finished making these 12 half double crochets here i'm at the end of the third row so we have 12 half double crochets here 35 front post and back post half double crochets and then 12 half double crochets now for the fourth row chain one turn now here what we're going to do is on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now into the next half double crochet work a back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on here for this part i'm just going to work either a front post or back post half double crochet until i come to the center stitches the 35 that we have there okay here's my last half double crochet out of these 12 and then i have the next 35 half double crochets so here we have this first stitch here it's a front post half double crochet so work a front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do we're just going to continue with the same front post and back post half double crochets and then for this part here you're going to do the same thing this one is a front post half double crochet so this one's going to be a back post half double crochet front back front back and so on until you finish here I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row okay i finished making this fourth row here at the end i just did my last half double crochet on top of my last stitch then cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done so this here this is the front side so this is the right side so now we're going to do the left side so we're going to go here to the back side this is where we finished this uh, last row single crochets for this part here so you can either attach your yarn here or you can just go on top of this last single crochet here and this row we're going to work the row from the inside out just like we did here on this side we started here though so here make sure that you're on the back side see here's the back so on the back side grab a loop or attach your yarn back to this end but I'm just going to grab a loop here chain one and into this same single crochet here make a single crochet now if you remember for this part here we did one single crochet for each one of these six rows and then we did six single crochets here so that we have 12 single crochets for this part so let's make these six 
single crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six single crochets. And then we have this double crochet, make two single crochets there, and then two single crochets here into the next row, and two single crochets here. So I have 12 single crochets here for this part. And now, remember we have 10 fans. For each one of the fans, we're going to alternate between three double crochets and four. Three, four, three, four, three, four, until we have 35 double crochets for this part here just like we did on the other side. So beginning inside this chain two space, make three double crochets into the next four double crochets. And three and so on. This is how you're going to continue. Three, four, three, four, three, four until you have 35 double crochets here. Then you're going to continue and make these last 12 single crochets. Two, four, six, and then six here, that's 12. I'll meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I finished making these 12 single crochets. For the center, I have 35 double crochets, and then for this side here, I have 12 single crochets as well. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do this part exactly as we did the other side. So here I'm just going to start you off here the second row and then you're going to finish the next part. So single crochet here on each one of these single crochets until we have 12 single crochets. like this, and then we're going to work front post double crochet here into this first double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and then front post double crochet, and so on. You're going to continue like this, alternating between front post and back post double crochets. And then here you're going to finish by making 12 single crochets. And that's how you're going to finish the second row. For the third row, you're going to chain one, turn, and then work 12 half double crochets for this part. And then we're going to switch to half double crochets here for this part. And you're going to work the stitches in the same way front post and back post half double crochets until you come to this other side. Here you're going to finish by making 12 half double crochets. Then you're going to finish this third row, chain one and turn for the fourth row, and then work one last row of front post and back post half double crochets. And that's all you're going to do until we complete this part. So continue, finish this side, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this last row for this side, and this part here is done. So both legs are done, and this is what it looks like. This here is the back side, and it's the right side. It's not on the inside, this last row that I did. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to continue along this part here, and I'm going to make three more rows of single crochets. In this, in the second row, I'm going to show you how you're going to make your buttonholes if you plan to use regular buttons for this part here. I plan to use snap buttons just like I have done here with this other little outfit. So I'm going to do the same. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and then into this last half double crochet, make a single crochet and then a single crochet into each one of these four rows. So that's three. Okay, and then we have these stitches here along the top. We're going to make one single crochet for each one here. Okay, so here I'm going to finish by making these last single crochets here.
So here's the first row. I have 22 single crochets. So for the next row, you're going to chain one and turn. And in this row is where you're going to make buttonholes. So to make your buttonholes, you're going to decide how many buttonholes you want to make. I'd recommend maybe four here for this part. So let's say we're going to make one right here. So you're going to make a single crochet on top of this first single crochet, single crochet on top of the next. Then you're going to chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next a single crochet. And then continue making single crochets until you come to the next um, space where you're going to make your second buttonhole and then you're going to do it in the same way see here's this chain one space and here's the buttonhole now continue make your buttonholes here at the end you're going to chain one turn and then come back and work these single crochets into the chain one space all you have to do is just make a single crochet inside and then finish that third row now, as I mentioned, I'm not going to add buttonholes to mine. I'm just going to use the snap button. So I'm just going to make three rows of single crochets. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this part here. I went ahead and added my snap buttons. Here they are. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box of the kit that I'm using. Now, here on this side, I went ahead and added this little trim. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So we're going to go right here. I'm going to use this three millimeter hook. You can also use the 3.5 millimeter hook. Just go down half a hook size if you're using any other size. And I'm going to use this four ply baby yarn. This is really thin yarn. You can also use um, the same yarn that you use to make the little outfit. Just use another color. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into this very first stitch right here. I'm going to grab a loop here. Chain four, skip one stitch and into the next, make a slip stitch. Again, chain four, skip one stitch and into the next, a slip stitch. Chain four, skip one stitch and into the next, a slip stitch. Chain four, skip one stitch and into the next, a slip stitch. This is all I'm going to do all around the leg, so continue. At the end, you're going to just cut your yarn and then pass your yarn through the last loop and then hide your ends. And this part is going to be done. Continue and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this side. Here at the end, I just cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. And that's what it looks like. Here's the other side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one of the sleeves here. I went ahead and added this eyelet trim here around the sleeve. It's optional. I'm going to show you how I did it uh, once I finish uh, this side here. Now, to make the sleeve, we're going to do this side exactly in the same way as I did this side. You're going to do it in the exact same way. So to begin, we're going to go right here, right under the sleeve. We have, let's see, right in the middle, right about there. Insert your hook there, and we're going to grab a loop. I'm going to use this 3.5 millimeter hook, and I'm using the same yarn. Now grab a loop, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now in between the next two, make a single crochet between the next two a single crochet perfect we have three single crochets now i'm going to make three half double crochets so we have this double crochet right here this is the last double crochet before we divided the, the sleeve so insert your hook there and make a half double crochet half double crochet on top of the first double crochet for the sleeve and a half double crochet into the second double crochet of the sleeve. So we have three single crochets and then three half double crochets. From here on, we're going to continue around the sleeve making double crochets, but we're going to work them in this way. I'm going to show you. So into this next double crochet right here on top through the back loop, make a double crochet into the next two, do the same thing. So here I have three double crochets through the back loop. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to make three double crochets, but I'm going to go through the front loop only. The first double crochet, I'm going to work in this same double crochet where I did this one, but 
through the front loop like this. That's one, and then into the next two through the front loop, a double crochet. This is what creates the little wave in the sleeves, see, like this. And now here I'm going to work three double crochets, but through the back loop, beginning into the same double crochet where I did this last double crochet through the back loop, insert your hook, and make your first double crochet and into the next two, same thing through the back loop, make a double crochet. So here are my three double crochets through the back loop. And then again, I need to make three double crochets through the front loop. One, two, and three. Again, three double crochets through the back loop, beginning into the same double crochet where you did the last double crochet, but through the back loop, make the first double crochet. And this is all we're going to do all around the sleeve until we come to the last two double crochets. So continue, here's the little wave here. Continue and I'll meet you right about here, two stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this row. Okay, I finished this sleeve. I did my last group of three double crochets and then I had two double crochets left. Into these two double crochets, I did two half double crochets and then I did my third half double crochet right here into the last double crochet before we divided the sleeves. And then I finished by making two single crochets here on this end. If you're able to fit three, perfect. If not, two is okay. That's what I did here. And then I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. That's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is this row of slip stitch chain four, which is the same that we did here for the legs. So to do this with this um, four ply yarn and a three millimeter hook, we're going to go right here where we finished. We're going to grab a loop, bring it through the front and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain four skip one stitch and into the next a slip stitch chain four skip one stitch and into the next a slip stitch this is all we're going to do all around so continue and i'll meet you here at the end to show you the finished sleeve Okay, I finished this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop. So all I need to do is just hide my ends and this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Now, if you want to leave the sleeves like this, it's fine, you can do so. But if you want to add some of this eyelet trim, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. I have here about 11 inches, which is enough to go around the sleeve. And all I did here is we're going to go from the inside and we're going to start around this part here this very edge of this last row that we did for the sleeve so right in the very center right here we're going to start so leave a little piece here like this and now you're going to need a needle and thread so starting right here just grab some yarn here and through the fabric and make these tiny, tiny little stitches here. Make sure that it doesn't go through the other side and then continue along all around the sleeve. Position the fabric so that it's right here, right along this very edge of this last row of double crochets that we did. Just make a tiny little stitch where you grab some of the yarn and then grab some of the fabric along the very edge. That's all we're going to do. Now this is optional like I said. You, the sleeves are done, you can leave them like that. Okay, 
in another tutorial I'm going to do a little dress and I'm going to do little sleeves like Peter Pan style sleeves so stay tuned for that as well so I'm going to continue like this all around this is what it looks like here on the outside so I'm going to continue and then I'll come back and show you the finished sleeves okay I finished making this sleeve I finished attaching the trim all around and that's what it looks like now you're going to do the exact same thing we did here you're going to do it here on this side it's done in the exact same way with the same number of stitches everything is exactly the same so the sleeves are done so now what we're going to do is we're going to fix the the neckline a little bit so that it looks nicer so I'm going to start here in the back on this side so just insert your hook right about here right in the center right there grab a loop here I'm going to be using this three millimeter hook so here I did one chain and into this same space here make two single crochets and for each row here right along the very edge we're going to do two single crochets Now I have my last row here and then we have this stitch right in the center just just go in there and make a single crochet too let's see right there make a single crochet and now we're going to continue along this other side in the same way two single crochets for each row Now I'm not going to add any buttonholes because I only plan to use one button for this part and what I plan to do is this here is going to be my buttonhole. So the space in between the double crochets here is enough for me to use it as a buttonhole so I'm not going to add any. You can do the same. So here into this last row I'm going to add two single crochets and then for turning I'm going to make two more here that way this part looks nice and now we're at the very top of the neckline and that's what it looks like so there that looks pretty good now we're going to continue along the neckline same thing single crochets and we're going to reduce a stitch here in on each corner so I'm going to show you this here if you want to reduce more stitches you can do it in the same way so one single crochet in between each one of the double crochets and then here is my last space between these last two double crochets so here I'm going to reduce so insert your hook grab a loop insert your hook into this corner grab a loop three loops close so here it's just reduced and now I'm just going to continue in the same way in between each of the double crochets I'm going to make a single crochet until I come to the next corner So here I'm going to show you again how you're going to reduce on each one of the corners. Here's the last space between the last two double crochets. So insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the corner, grab a loop, three loops, close. Now just continue along and work these single crochets for the front side and then you're going to do the same thing here in this corner and then here in this corner. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row here around the neckline here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. Now, this part here is done, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go around in the same way I did this here, this part here and along the legs here at the bottom. So we're going to do it here along the neckline. So here, 
insert your hook into this very corner stitch right about there grab a loop here with this very thin yarn and this three millimeter hook you can use the same yarn that would be up to you so here you're going to chain three skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one single crochet and into the next a slip stitch here I'm going to chain three instead of four if you want to do four chains it's fine I think it'll look best with just three chains chain three skip one single crochet and into the next a slip stitch this is how I'm going to continue around the neckline then I'm just going to join here cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and then I'm going to attach my button here I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll come back and show you the finished baby romper okay I went ahead and finished this last row around the neckline here at the end all I did was just make a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and then I just hid my ends I also went ahead and added this button this button here is 11 millimeter now this is what it looks like from the back side there it is and this is the bottom from the back side let me turn it over here this is the front side and here's the bottom of the front side here's the opening and these are the legs now I also went ahead and did the matching headband. I already have a tutorial for this headband in my channel. I have it in a blue and white color and also in pink and white. So now let me give you the finished measurements. From the middle here of the neckline down to the middle here of the bottom, it's measuring about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. Uh, this part here, the waist, just the top, it's measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about 9.5 inches. And this part right across here, the sleeve, it's measuring about 12.5 centimeters, which is about five inches. So based on these measurements, this little romper is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can make it smaller or bigger. Just be sure to check out the information box below. I'll go ahead and leave some information there on how you can make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby up to 18 months. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.